Obviously, I'm not here to take every one of you to jail. Alright guys, I just wanted to let you know that there is only three days left to get entered into the Whipple S550 giveaway. Make sure you go down in the description and pick up anything on the website that gets you entered to win the Whipple S550. Don't wait, there's only three days left. It ends April 10th. We will be picking a winner. It is a random winner, but you do get entries based on the amount that you did purchase. So every $5 spent, you get an entry. And then there were also some bonus periods that we did uh, that also got you entered. So this car is gonna be going to one of you lucky subscribers out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and I'm still kind of debating on whether we're gonna do another one or not. We're thinking about a different car, but we will decide that later. But anyways, let's hop into this video a bunch of different things happened. Kind of just took you guys along for the ride and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. What is going on guys? We are gonna hop in the 350R. Haven't driven in a little while, so I wanted to drive it around a little bit. And uh, we're checking in on our friend Quinn. He's doing a lethal twin disc clutch on his uh, 2019 Performance Pack 2 car. Let's hop in the 350R and go head over there. So I haven't really driven this car a lot. I just drove the 2020 uh, 500 to get the windows tinted right there um, and I don't know I just this car is making me want one but then this car should be the manual version of that so I'm confused I'm confused as to why this car should feel any different than that car So we are gonna drive the 350R. It's on 93, by the way. We're just gonna cruise over, not too far of a drive to where he's working on his car. We'll check in with him, but yeah, basically I've been kind of like, why does this car feel different than that car? This car is a black 2018 GT350R, 900 wheel horsepower, manual. The other one's DCT, I don't know. For some reason I've been wanting one of those, and I don't know, <laughs> it's weird. It does feel good to drive this car a little bit. It is loud. <laughs> you guys got the squad. What's up, man? What up? It's slow, don't look at it. Camaro over there. What's up with that? What are we doing here? Doing the clutch, man. Uh, he almost uh, shocked himself. Like oh, the disconnect the battery. Step number one. I did. After. Uh, yeah, after you almost died. <laughs> I almost shocked myself. All right. Well, I went up there to touch the first bolt and I shocked my. Uh, I forgot the battery. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look at this. Let's see, uh, doing a clutch. Preparation for some boosty things. It's over there if you wanna take a look at it. Ah, what an ass. Hey, what you doing, mate? I'm working. You lost your spot. I know, I'm taking another spot. Lost the spot with V6, damn. All right, so we've been working on getting Quinn's trans out. Good question. My hands are dirty, so don't even say that I haven't been doing anything. And the two top bolts, and then not too much more Stop until it's and out. Put the ratchet on it. I'm gonna grab that for you. Just go slow and keep it in the, the right position, and you should be able to go all the way out. Hey, Andrew, at what point is this just gonna? Well, the trans? I have two side bolts still in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I always leave the Pop close. Up. Yeah, these two bottom ones. Mm-hmm. Are you on it? Yeah. 
think that's it. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. Yep, so if my calculations are right, you got the two side ones, the clutch line, that one plug that you were talking about on the top. Yeah, and then she's out. Yep. Okay. All right, so we just got the trans out. This is the McLeod lethal clutch here. And it does look different from an RST and an RX to me, so. Transmission's right there. It's got torque, watch out. He's not used to that torque. More torque than my car, man. Yeah, merch plug. If you want a shirt, go down in the description, get a shirt. <laughs> Quinn is modeling one. <laughs> you want to join in. All right, so there is the flywheel. Something interesting I noticed is the flywheel is fairly thick and it also has a pilot bearing in it. I haven't seen that except for on the GT350. And is the stop clutch like that? Stop flywheel? Oh, well, see the stop, uh, the stop flywheel is the same. We do have a mozzarella stick. Very strange. All right, so the clutch is ready to go. Big burnout to break this boy, uh, bad boy in, right? Uh, I don't think that's how you break them in, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd say so. So we just kind of lift the trans onto the trans shack, and we'll get her up and in there. All right, still working on the trans, but quick stop over in Mexico. Yo, this better not be weak. Yo, you're good. <laughs> oh, I know we're good. <laughs> I know we're good. <laughs> know we're good. <laughs> you should have kept sending it. No, you got that video? Yeah. Oh, man, that's cool. That's cold. <laughs> Did you really get the cop pulling up, too? Yeah. Oh, my God, that's cool. And the lights? Yeah. That's oh, cool. That's dope. Hey, you did light it up. I'll give it to you. We can oh. do another one if you want. Oh, yeah, I'm down for another one. I was pushing your car. Let's wait till he leaves. I, was pushing I mean, technically, he can't do anything. No, it's, it is private property. I swear. He can't do anything, dude. I think we should. Have I don't think he. I don't think he cared, honestly. No, it's private property. He was just messing dude, with us. He's going home. He looked over and he was like, "Dude." He's like, "Uh, my shit ends in like six minutes ago." I'm going home. He said you. <laughs> All right, dude. Round two. How much he left though? Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I mean, dude, do I even left. have tires to get home, bro? <laughs> yeah, you, hey, you pulled that corner good as hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Not that bad. Is, that is proper. 
We definitely Proper. left them hanging, dude. They're gonna be here for a while. We may have lost a couple thousand miles. I knew we came from the Meanwhile. Yeah, that was that was sick. Also, um, they also have back in the day when I used to like go to Much down. Putting an MGW back in. Ready to do a burnout in a uh, camera row. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get it sideways, but something tells me it's not gonna grip at all. So we'll see. Mr. Quinn, are we ready? We're ready. In theory, wait, you didn't get brake fluid. Huh? We need brake fluid. Rabbit, please don't. Oh, yeah. Rabbit! Oh, God. You sound like a fucking fart can, bro. Rabbit up! Do a burnout! Do a burnout! <laughs> He was over here. Like, what, what? What is he talking about? Hey, he don't want to like truck. Oh my goodness! I literally said not to, and he was like, "Yeah, hey, bro." I only <laughs> said it because she said. Yeah, that's all. Just kidding, you should properly break in your clutch, kids. Don't listen to me. Man, we got a squad out here. It's a little chattery, I could feel it. it it'll probably break in. I, I read a comment today by Logan saying it'll take 500 miles to, for the chatter to go away. Yeah. But it's definitely got some chatter, I could feel that. All right, she done. All right, so Quinn's gonna do 500 miles. 500 miles of break in. And then he has a, I believe a Vortec blower coming. So that'll be pretty fun. This thing will be boosted. Now this is the car we did the Magnaflow X Mod Catback Long Tube Headers E85 Palm Beach Dino Tune. So it's gonna be getting some boost. All right, so we are done. Quinn's car is gone. I think we're gonna go over to a spot, and I think a few people want to rip some burnout. So it should be fun to watch. We're a loud group.
pretty good burnouts. The old Silverado. So I want to stop right here. Um, the spot that we uh, went uh, to do donuts and burnouts, uh, we originally, a long time ago, had permission to use this spot. Basically, whenever we wanted to do burnouts, donuts, everything like that, um, it has had multiple issues uh, throughout the years, which may or may not be my fault, you know, showing in the videos. Um, I didn't try. I didn't try to show the location, but some people do know the location. People went out there, did burnouts, then some people were littering, there were beer cans, uh, and then eventually shots fired on the property, and then the cops came out, and I, I'm assuming um, the owner of the property, which is actually BBK um, slash Brothers, I believe they own the property, don't quote me on that, uh, but basically they said kick everybody out. Uh, so we got trespassed from here, that's what you will see here. And these cops were just doing their job, they were super uh, cool, they were asking us about the cars, I wish I filmed more of that, but they were asking us about the cars, asked the mods on the cars, and they were kind of just hanging out with us while uh, they were waiting for, you know, the, the person to uh, radio back uh, to give them the A-OK. -okay. But uh, we are all no longer allowed to go there, we will get arrested if we go there, which is, sounds weird, I've never been arrested before, um, but that is uh, the dealio there, so. We'll hop back into the video. Uh, it was about nine, and then there was like nine. You guys see the problem, right? You know I'm here? Um. Is that right there? Oh, uh, that must be new. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we had a huge problem. Um, a lot yeah, of I know all the shooting it. guns and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of ruined the, the fun for it. Yeah, because I've been coming out here for <laughs> forever, and then, you know, those guys, yeah, it was you know, kind of ruined, ruined it. it for everybody, and so the people here were like, we're done, we want everybody prosecuted, like all this kind of stuff. Obviously, I'm not here to take every one of you to jail. Um, Just one, Has right. anybody ever been trespassed from here yet? No. Okay. Well, then no one's going to go to jail, but um, we're all, we are probably just going to document who all is out here that you guys have been warned, and if you do come back here, you will go to jail. I don't want to do that because you go to jail, your car gets towed, and that's a whole lot of money that none of y'all want to spend that you could be spending on car parts. So, I feel that. He understands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I'm not here to ruin anybody's night. It was a Saturday night. But when they call, we, when, when we have shit like that happen, it ruins Did it someone call or, or you like just stopped by or whatever? Uh, whoever was doing the burnouts, somebody called. Really? Someone yeah. called? Was anybody doing burnouts or rolling, yeah. rolling shots? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you did it on the public roadway, right? No. Well, I mean, technically, all, isn't all of it technically? All this is building? all private property. Mm -hmm. So the second you come onto that stop sign, this is all like the circle is all owned by them. And then obviously this is their property all up in here. But yeah, all right. Well, if you guys want to go stand by your cars, and we'll do it that way. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that way I can put tap. <laughs> all right, mugshot you lied. Oh uh, yeah, you give me okay, my back. He said mugshot. <laughs> 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 I smiled, I do. <laughs> That's fine. That works. Alright, what's your last name? Kadru. K-A-D-R-I-U. I got glasses on that picture. 
We got the mugshot line, dude. Mugshot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah. We gotta hold it up. I no, you don't have to hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you just gotta hold up the board. <laughs> Bro, I should have got the. I should have got the sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, uh, a bunch of people ruined it, they ruined the spot, so can't come back here anymore. We need a new spot. All right, so I guess we're following the cops somewhere so we can take a picture with the cops. I don't know. Um, they, they were really cool. There, there's just uh, been some issues had at that spot um, before, um, and that's why they uh, they kicked us out. But we left there, and now we may be taking a picture with cops. I don't know. <laughs> So is playing bad. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh man. We will swing it. <laughs> Yo, get their approval. I'll take a picture of you guys. Yeah. Give me their phone. You guys just stand back there. I'm gonna pull my car. Appreciate it. You guys race right here. Who's faster? That was cool. All right, so I think that's a wrap. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, comment down below, let us know what you think, and make sure you go over to the website, mustanglifestyle.net, and get entered to win this car. It is white now, but we do have a lot of memories and a lot of videos with this car, so you really are getting a piece of Mustang lifestyle. You can see we also have another one with it right there, which this one's kind of sad because we no longer have that car, well we will no longer have that car, no longer have that car, and no longer have that car. So it is a little sad, but you will be having a piece of Mustang lifestyle history. Hopefully whoever gets it uh, will enjoy it. So we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm trying to get this one back, but she's pretty messed up. I tried getting this one back, but he wanted $7,000 for the roller. Not possible. That's I bought that car for $1,500. <laughs> This car, I think we're okay with getting rid of it. We got a packed garage.